Happy Tailgate Friday, everybody. If you haven't noticed, there's a bit of a location change. We are not at Robert Plaster Stadium, but we are in our kitchen, and we are joined by Emily Dryden. Hey, Emily. Hi, Alyssa. We have an exciting game tomorrow. It's going to be a home game. Tell me about it. It is. We have a home game tomorrow at Plaster Stadium, 2 p.m. against the Illinois State Redbirds. That's right. Illinois State is coming to Missouri State, and there are so many fun things going on tomorrow. Yep. As usual, Bear Fest Village opens up at 11 a.m. where you can tailgate. Um, there's all sorts of family-friendly activities going on there um, and then bear walk is at 11:50 when the team comes through the tailgating area which is really fun to be able to high five and say hey to them as they head to the field and then kick off set two that is exciting and speaking of tailgate we have some tailgate items in front of us and we are going to show you a couple treats that you can bring to tailgate at Missouri State Emily yes. what are we going to make today so tomorrow since we play the red birds mm -hmm. we're hoping to ravage those red birds <laughs> so we have some buffalo chicken dip pinwheels to make. Exciting. We're going to devour those red birds. <laughs> That's How right. Do I start. So after you make your buffalo chicken dip, which you can make super easy ingredients that, you know, anyone can find at the store, um, all you got to do is all scoop right. up, take your tortilla, you scoop up some of your mixture that is already cooled down. You want to make right. sure that it's already cool so that it's not oozing out of your tortilla and it's not making a mess. Yeah, it's not making a mess and it's not making the tortilla start to like condensate on itself That's once true. you've made it. You know what I mean? So it looks so. like the ingredients in this is like a rotisserie chicken, some mm -hmm. cream cheese, some buffalo sauce and ranch. Yep. Cheddar cheese, Ooh, ranch, okay. uh, hot sauce, cream cheese. So super yeah. basic, but it's okay. so delicious. Oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> if we had smell -o vision guys, you would be <laughs> flocking to our studio right now. So you just want to do not all the way out to the edges of okay. your tortilla, and then you just start to roll it up. Super simple. All right. This is a great thing for tailgating just because it's so easy to transport it and you don't have to heat it up. You don't have to keep it hot or anything like that. Oh, I see why you don't want to mm -hmm. fill it all because it oozes to the sides. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. That was perfect. Yep. And then you literally just take your knife and cut it into a little, a little pinwheel. A little pinwheel and it might ooze out a little bit. That's and okay. That's fine. You, know you just kind of clean it up some. We love it. Mm -hmm. So this is super easy. This took what? 30 seconds. Yep, after you have your dip made, it's gonna be super simple. Super quick, look mm -hmm. at that, little pinwheel. That's perfect. That's exciting. So we have the buffalo chicken pinwheels, but we also have these amazingly beautiful cookies that you can actually get this cute little bear cookie cutter at the bookstore. Yes, you MSU. can, yes. So of course, you've gotta have some sweet snacks too. And again, just for ease, cookies are super simple to bring out to tailgating. So we'll <laughs> throw these to the side here. Yeah. And we'll grab these cookies. Good. These are so cute, Emily. They have been beautifully decorated by one of our athletic trainers, actually. Wow. Okay. Susie, our athletic trainer, is an amazing baker, and she has a business where she makes cookies. And so, of course, we had to enlist her. This is so cute. Okay. So we're going to try decorating here. <laughs> Yes. How do so, I start? Just like go bears or should I make a Whatever you want. You can make a football. It's very, very tricky okay. to make our bear head. So even though we have these amazing bear head cookie cutters, uh -huh. it's very tricky to actually try to replicate the bear head logo. I bet. So, if, as long as you use school colors, get some maroon oh. sprinkles, make some maroon icing. <laughs> Just uh, spell MSU. That's some very soft ice in there, Look but I try to make my football. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> it looks oh, great. This is so cute, but look at this bear. Mm -hmm. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, that is talent right there. Yes, and one thing you can also do, just tips for those bakers at home, mm -hmm. since it's such a detailed shape, uh -huh. make sure that you don't have your cookie dough too thick. Okay. Once it's too thick and it starts baking in the oven, it's going to puff up and it's oh, going to kind of push sense. out. So keep your cookie dough pretty thin okay. when you cut those cookies and it'll help your bare heads look nice and sharp. Another tip is to make sure your cookie dough is nice and chilled and that will keep the shape mm -hmm. for sure. Yes. So Emily, I think we need to give you a cookie. Absolutely. And I need a cookie. 
And uh, cheers, cheers to the game. And if you would like to watch the game tomorrow, go to MissouriStateTicks.com. Get your tickets for 2 p.m. kickoff and all the fun festivities beforehand. Emily, thank you so much. Go Bears!